Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about learning how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, check me out on Instagram and our Facebook group. So today I'm doing a shop with me at the Dollar Tree and I have found some awesome branded new items in the craft and a couple other sections. You're not gonna wanna miss this. These wood laser cutouts were new to me. There's six in a package. Um, this is the second round of them because these were completely wiped out the first time they arrived. A couple different sets of birds, very spring. Be pretty to get two of those, one of each of those packages and color them, put them on a wreath for the spring. Um, ooh, found some circuit stuff. Now I am not into circuit. I don't know how much these dies normally cost, but I'm sure they're not a dollar. Compatible with most manual cutting machines, die cutting machines. So there was these different leaf patterns. And then they had some longer ones also that were five one eighth of an inch long, three inch diameter, and there's three different dies in each one. And so I pulled them down here in a second. Oh, these feathers are pretty. They're paper stickers. They also came in silver. 12 of them in a pack. Let's check out all the different uh, circuit dies here in one second. So there's this cool corner piece um, that it shows you a couple of different ways you can arrange that. that. How much would these normally cost, people who use Circuit? Um, and has anybody seen any different ones? This is the first time I've seen this stuff in store. Really like these different si sized hearts. That was it for the square ones. And there was longer ones. So there's like a rainbow, a wavy line, and a squiggly line. 13 centimeters long. Then this one looks like clouds, stars, and another line. Well, at least that bottom thing reminds me of clouds. Then there's these flowers. Aren't they so spring-like? Tulips and daisies. This was probably the one I liked the most. Next to the one with the clouds. But that's really pretty, isn't it? So that's all I saw for the circuit stuff today. Um, however, there is so much branded craft stuff here, it's crazy right now. Oh, I picked this up a couple weeks ago, and I love using this to plan out jewelry and stitch markers. Also is a nice place just to, ooh, what is this? Funky Monkey Body Art Craft for Cool Kids. Never heard of this brand before. This is two sponges shaped like a monkey head. Yeah, don't ask me. Seems kind of expensive. Ooh, Tulip brand. They got a whole shipment of stuff, Tulip brand. This is face and body stencils and flower power. And these are reusable. These are all the different templates you get in here. There's five different ones. This one has flowers and butterflies and fairies. And it looks like you can use paint, but I'm sure you could also use glitter. I like to adhere glitter to someone's face with chapstick. Unscented, plain old chapstick. Works like a dream. And a brush, obviously. This is mystical. And this one has feathers and a phoenix. A yin-yang symbol. Ginger, I thought of you. Uh, a heart with wings. A pixelated heart. An anchor and something at the end there. Hmm. Regular glitter paper. What's behind this? Ooh. Tulip branded iron-on transfer sheets in fashion glitter. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Machine washable. I was sitting there staring at this for a while going, would I actually use this? Self. I went with a few of the other branded items that I found today. 
Works with most paper punches and die machines. Ooh, I love to create.com. I'm going to have to check that website out. These were amazing. Socks that you can dye that come out like mermaid scales. Patterns appear like magic with tulip one step dye. Oh my goodness. And they were thick, nice cotton socks. These were not like thin. One size fits most cotton polyester spandex. They had mermaid scales. And they had this one that kind of looks like watermelon seeds. I actually have a mermaid um, t-shirt tie-dye kit from last year that I have not used yet with Sky. It's going to look amazing on the mermaid socks. I cannot wait to craft it and see how it looks. Not really into the watermelon socks, but the mermaid socks were cool. And they got more of their crafter square tie-dye in. which I also have some at home. Hmm. Is this new super glue? Let me know down below. Which one of those socks would you guys pick? Mermaid scales or watermelon? Scribbles 3D fabric paint in really, really glittery purple. Never heard of this brand before, Scribbles. And in this blue color. Like a Crayola blue, if that makes sense. But wait, there's more tulip. Slick dimensional fabric paint in navy blue, 1.25 ounces. I'm sure this is a pretty penny at the craft store. Metallics dimensional fabric paint in violet. Isn't that cool? Coolest fabric paint I've ever seen at the Dollar Tree. Glow in the dark, orange fabric paint. Oh my goodness. This is really some of the best um, branded craft stuff I've seen there in a while. I mean, outside of the yarn. The yarn's been slamming it lately, but for non-yarn stuff, this is pretty cool. And then they also had some Aline's Super Gel Glue. Aline's makes that tacky glue that I love. But this is branded. This is probably 7 or $8 at the regular craft store. These are pretty cool. These are little craft kits. So this one has a foam pattern thing that you can make friendship bracelets on. Um, and it comes with some embroidery floss. They also do sell a big pack of embroidery floss now at the Dollar Tree. So you could have a pretty cute um, $2 gift here on your hands. I want to try this someday. The mermaid socks went out, though, on my budget. Let's see. Then there's some other cute craft kits behind here, which I was excited to see again. Okay, ABC Jewelry that has the stuff to make the bracelets. It's got colored beads and ABC um, beads, and it's got elastic cord. That's fun. I do put these back afterwards, guys. Okay, these mosaics were like the hit last year when they came out. Um, my daughter loved them. My son loved them. Now, she doesn't have the patience to sit there the whole time and do this, but it's a good project with, for a time filler. It takes a while. My own paper doll. This was the least exciting of these craft kits, I got to be honest with you. But I do like where they're going with this. I do like a closed-end activity for little kids. Which one of these craft kits would you pick up if you had to get one? Oh, paint your own artboard set. So this was actually pretty decently thick, like, artboard. They had trolls, and it comes with the paint and a paintbrush. They had Minnie Mouse. They also had Jurassic Park. Dinosaurs. And then this other one had two posters with paint and a paintbrush. They had Wonder Woman 1984, which is cool. For those who like superheroes. And they had some LOL dolls. And then sneaky back behind here is some Tonka trucks. Fire truck and another one. That's cool. Hmm. Mold and play 3D figurines. For... 
like Play-Doh type stuff. Ooh, Paw Patrol. Two coloring pages and four markers. Eh. Ooh, room decor bottle with window paint. Oh, that's fun. Okay, these wood shop things were great last year. We made planes and birdhouses, and ooh, they came out with some new, um, what do you call those things? Wind chimes. So they have a shark, a pegasus, unicorn, pegacorn, I don't know what that's technically called, and a spaceship. So yeah, I'm really excited whenever I see another wood shop that's a butterfly woodshop product come out, but ooh, what is that? Create Basics DIY Printed Tote Bag. Ooh, it's all different kinds of food. So there's ice cream cones, fries, coffee, burgers, pizza. Oh, this is super fun. This could even be good for an older kid because it's real detailed. Makes me want to use fabric markers. That's cool. Never seen that before at Dollar Tree. Ooh, they have the kids kind of cross-stitch kits back. They have a butterfly. Excuse me. Cupcake. These look a little bit bigger than the last time they carried them. I'd have to see the one I have at home to compare. Is there any more back there? A heart with like embellishments on it. And I think there was one more. Oh, bunch of green. What is it? It's a frog, ribbit, ribbit. A lot of this craft stuff seems like it was just stocked because it was very full. That makes me happy. I think that's it for the kind of cross stitch. And then, ooh, glue. Hmm. Oops, I dropped one. Sorry. Spray adhesive and foam and poster board adhesive. But that wasn't what caught my eye. It was the fact that it's in Aline's tacky glue box. Spray adhesive? Is this new? I don't remember seeing this before. Window marker. They only had white. Crayola coloring packs all different kinds oh this is pretty cool wooden mobile it only came with three paints so the primary colors but it did give you a grid on the back on how to mix them so there was a train a spaceship a car a unicorn and a hot air balloon I'm excited they're getting more crayola branded stuff in that's helpful mix paints to make more colors then they had some sun catchers Dragon, teddy bear, car. Then they had some yarn down here. I haven't seen this vibrant blue color yet. And the Premier Just Yarn. I say vibrant blue because they have deleted color names and given them numbers. Personally, I hate that. I'd rather the color have a name. Ooh. I like the screen. This is nice. Hmm. Pine green. It's like a little bit darker than an olive. Hmm. This is kind of a blah color for me. It's called... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Gentle brown. It's also called... Ugh, don't ruin my label. <laughs> right, guys? Here's some Just Chenille. I am going to be testing a pattern for Ribbler using this yarn coming up this week, um, which is a crochet bunny ear hat, which I can't wait to start working on. I'll see how many of these skeins it takes me to make it. I'm going to make the toddler size hat first and see if it fits on Steven's big melon of a head. What do you think? No. Oh. Chalkboard crop it stickers. That's cool. If you're not familiar with Ribbler, 
It is a website that you use for pattern writing. Ooh, more puffy paint. This brand I've seen before at Dollar Tree BU. And these were in like primary colors. So there was yellow, blue, well, red, black, green, nice holiday colors there, Christmas. Also had some nice 4th of July with the blue. Ooh, tulip glitter pen, silver metallic. That's exciting. Paint pen. <laughs> Instructions, paint on ugly Christmas sweaters. That's funny. They also had it in gold. I wonder how much those were originally. That's cool. And then there also was these, same brand as that Funky Monkey uh, sponges. Funky Monkey three brushes. And it says it's designed for face makeup. I didn't see any Funky Monkey face makeup there, though. Well, that's glitter glue. That's not puffy paint. Hmm, sponges. Do I see anything else? No. I see oil pastels. That's fun. Over at the end cap, which is filled with a bunch of paint all the time, there were, wow, these cool things. I haven't seen these before. Acrylology fluorescent. Wow, these were like, this camera is not doing these colors justice. It was like, ah, highlighter. Orange. Pink. I'm going to line them all up together because they're so pretty. Blue. This was the least vibrant of the group. But it was still pretty vibrant. Whoopsie. Pardon me, orange. Green. And yellow. There are all the beautiful fluorescent colors together. Those are nice. Uh, anything else new down here? Let's see more fluorescent paints. Oh, they had some set up just for Valentine's Day that apparently never got sold. I bet it was hiding in the back. Got lavender. Magenta. Pink. This looks like a Pepto-Bismol bottle. Red and white. <coughs> Ooh, they got new signs in. These are so cute. So, water, weight, with gardening tools and some seed packs. I have one of these downstairs in my laundry room. Can't remember what it says. Catch me by the sea. That would look cute in a bathroom. Hmm. Home sweet home. Very cute for the spring. Robots, robots. For no reason, they're just decorative, like the silver one. And then these spaceships kind of look like Easter eggs. Random hippo. Ooh. But first, coffee. This is a brand new line of things they have at Dollar Tree. You'll see some more awesomeness with that later on in the video. Make sure you stick around to check it out. Especially if you have a coffee bar. Ooh, these hooks were really cool. Um, a sloth. These would look awesome, like, lined up together in, like, a kid's room. Cloud. A fox. A panda bear. A koala. Oops, didn't show the koala, apparently. Sorry, guys. And a dog. Is that a book? I don't know what kind of dog that is. Help me out in the comments. Cactus jewelry tray. Hmm. Oh, these are nice. They had scripture on the outside. Faith moves mountains. Sun beached woods. For when I am something. It's that one. Pink Himalayan salt. Pray without ceasing. Brave, be strong, and fearless. Amber shimmer. Okay, these were huge. They're seven ounces. Normally candles here are three ounces. And wow, did that smell so good. This was called flannel something. Flannel woods, I think. 
I'm going to look again in a second here. Do I see the name? Weekend Flannel. And then there was one of these red ones, which was Farmhouse Apple. They smelled so good. Has anybody ever seen 7-ounce candles before at the Dollar Tree? And these were nice and heavy. So nice. Then there was these signs down here, which were new. Bless this nest. This is us. And the words inside it are raised. Thankful. With a ladybug for some reason. Not sure why. Hello, gorgeous. Enjoy every moment. Aromatherapy sleep, lavender and vanilla. These were in nice mason jars. Energy, mandarin and neroli. Stress relief and positivity i like when they come in mason jars they were usable they also had this really nice kind of yoga branded aromatherapy um <clears throat> incense sticks and there's 40 in each box which is super reasonable for a dollar aren't they nice i love the way frankincense smells it's one of my favorite incenses some new um canvas signs sweet baby I love the little um, jimmies on the outside, or sprinkles, depending on where you're from. In Rhode Island, we call them jimmies. Very um, Arizona looking. Farmhouse horse. Interesting. And a flower. I definitely like that hello baby the best. This is cute and big. Little one. Pastel rainbow with glitter letters. That was actually pretty big. Don't worry, I put all these signs back this way to the reception. I always clean up after myself. Ooh, new wall stickers. I particularly like this alphabet because it has a lot of vehicles. My son's really into construction vehicles. Probably because Steve is in construction. I did think some of these were very funny, though. On the other side. <laughs> Ready for this one, guys? Old car. Couldn't find one, though. Quad bike. What the heck is the X one? Zurek? X-E-R-E-C. I am looking that up after I finish narrating this video. Zurek. Whatever the heck that is. Oh, this may be the most pretty sticker I've seen in a long time at Dollar Tree. Just in time for St. Patty's Day, it's a beautiful Celtic cross. Look at how amazing that is. God bless you. That's a really nice sticker for a buck. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. This is really awesome. Sky would like this. Look at the big, huge rainbow. Love. And there's another rainbow on the back. Always check the back of the wall stickers to see if you're getting just the front sheet or if there's some on the back too. Oh, this is really pretty. Good vibes. Super cool. Hope together. I'm really happy to see new wall stickers because I haven't seen new ones in a while love what pretty flowers hmm. let the dreams come true hmm. sassy since birth that should be in my son's room So this is like two halves of one sticker that goes together. Sorry I didn't get a better shot of what it actually says. I think it's Live Love Light or something. Paris Jatem. And then a some trains. Cool train set. Just one side. Okay, here is more of that coffee branded stuff. So, dark roast latte, Americano coffee, 
and espresso. So they came out recently with these completely branded um, kitchen stuff. So there's the pot holder, there's the oven glove, there's the um, kitchen towel, there is the nice thick um, placemat, and then they also had it in Restaurante and this like Tuscan type wine stuff. I don't know if I love the random pizza guy. Oh, they also had these scrubby hand, scrubby towel things. There's two in a pack for a dollar. I think I like the Tuscan wine and the uh, coffee one definitely the best. So good. They also came out with new burner covers that match. This makes me happy. I didn't look back to see if there was a restaurant I won. But I'm really happy with that coffee stuff. Bless this nest. Love builds a happy home. Live every moment with joy and laughter. Love is a four-legged word. Oh, these glasses were pretty heavy and they have um, lids. I can't make out how big it is, but these are pretty significantly nice as far as weight. And what's really cool is you could stack them on top of each other. Now, they're not super sturdy. I probably wouldn't go higher than two, but it's still nice. Ooh, they're coming out with the spring scarves. This is a nice one. Kind of springish colors on that. And then they also had... Oh, you can see it better down here. Flowers. Ugh, my son and daughter would love these. Yellow and silver with... Ugh, this feels horrible. Don't buy that. It's rough. Oh, cute bucket hats. Lemons. And whales. And confetti. And flowers. Some kind of pattern. <laughs> Salty but sweet. Imagine, dream, believe. Oh, did you know that they sell pocket squares at the Dollar Tree? Two for a buck. Oh, I like the paisley pattern. These are some of the nice bandanas. Now, my last uh, walkthrough at Hobby Lobby, they had a book all about crafts with bandanas, and I immediately thought of these tie-dye bandanas at the Dollar Tree. Whoa, hold on, this buffalo check? Oh, there was only two of those left. That's going to go like hotcakes. Here's the other yarn that's remaining at my store. See, I did leave behind a whole bunch of sock yarn, guys. I didn't take it all. Just cotton. Some more chenille. Need to pick up another skein so I don't run out while I'm making the bunny hat for Ribbler. Hats, hats, and more hats. Okay, these are brand new products by Bolero. Orange Blossom Soothing Facial Wipes and Cucumber. These all are 32 count. Hibiscus Lavender. I like the bright colors of the packaging. Rosehip Tea Tree. Ginger Root Peach. Ooh, Coconut Eucalyptus. I like that. Wild Jasmine and Yehoba. Grapefruit and Lime. And then, of course, like Bolero does, they have other products that match some of them. So this is Lychee and Coconut Water Detoxifying. Jelly Nutrient Mist. It's sparkly. Facial Toner. Clay Facial Mask. And then they had the same products in Bamboo and Rose Water and pink grapefruit and cactus juicy facial mask rose oil and hibiscus charcoal green tea and this is one mask in each 0.37 fluid ounces hemp seed and avocado citrus coconut water cucumber aloe vera pineapple something acid seaweed eucalyptus and strawberry vitamin c Ooh, stuffy nose wipes that are branded like paw patrol 25 count. I think my son would let me wipe his nose. Hmm. 
check it out to see if there's any new masks. Oh, this is pretty. Holographic peel-off mask. Hmm. Red wine? I'm hmm, not sure about that. Ooh, a mask brush. Hmm. Tea time hibiscus. Bamboo charcoal. Hmm. Nails and strip. Ooh. Clearing pomegranate pill off mask. Ooh. Pore clarifying witch hazel. Sensitive and lavender. I do like keeping face wipes in my car, especially since we have to wear the masks. Feels so good just to wipe it down at the end of the day. Okay, these are supposed to be for men. Never seen them before. Body benefits for him, exfoliating buffer. Man hand approved, which means it's extra large. Vigorous exfoliation. Um, I can report that this feels horrendous. It feels horrible. Like, why don't I just go to Home Depot and get some sandpaper? Like, I would never, ever use this or give it to somebody. Yuck. See the way I just tossed it back? Like, can I stop touching this now? Ooh, what a pretty lavender holographic face mask. Or eye mask. That's pretty. Uh, lots of bath bombs. And then they also had similar brand. Let's Spa Purify with Bamboo Charcoal. Now, this did not feel nearly as rough as the other one, but... Still didn't make me want to use it. Mm -mm, all set. Ooh. 50 tattoos, two glitters. One applicator brush. With bonus metallic tattoos. Skin sugar glitter tattoo kit. This is amazing because there's 50 in this box. Look at that. Mermaids and bunnies and rainbows. And this one has a blue and green glitter pot. This one has fairies and unicorns and cats and music with, missed the color. This one has pink and gold. Oh, that other one has purple and silver. And you can get your own fine glitter and put that on. And it's basically like a tattoo. That would be really cool for a birthday party. If we had birthday parties. Yeah. Wet and wild. Different blues and different purples. These are nice. They had some new makeup today that I haven't seen before. I think I've seen that. Orange glassy gloss. Not really sure. Not so much with the orange on my lips. What do you guys think? Hmm. I'm still stuck on those glitter tattoos. They were so cool. Ooh, what's this? Setting spray. So your makeup doesn't rub off? <gasps> Maybelline Mascara? Black Cherry Snap Scara. On and a snap. Ooh, this was a pretty penny probably originally. Ooh, ultraviolet? It's in purple. That's interesting. Any other colors back there? Hmm. Do I see any other colors? Blue. Interesting. That's fun. Good branded find on the makeup today. And then there was a bunch of wet and wild. Oof, so many good things. Let's see. A lip pencil, a gel lip liner. Cruelty free, guys. And like a berry color. Then this one is more of a pink. They only had this eyeshadow in one color. It was like a greenish gray black. Hard to explain. Oh, it's this cool looking lipstick with the lips on it. Hmm. Mega Last Matte and whatever that color is. Lip gloss. That's a nice gold color. Glassy gloss. So the same thing as the orange, but in a much more attractive pink. Okay, liquid cat suit. This is lipstick in black. I love that. LA Colors blush sticks. Bunch of different colors. Oh, more wet and wild. There is a small stipple brush. 
a eyeshadow brush more eyeshadow brushes Ooh, look at how big this bronzer is what the hmm. color icon ticket to brazil that was pretty big 0.46 ounces good size for dollar tree there's only a couple of options as far as colors go for this stuff how big is this one 0.28 ounces but wait check out this one 0.52 ounces double the size of that other one stick foundation hmm shell bisque okay coverall cream foundation Ugh, this one's kind of messy makeup stick concealer Wet n Wild Liquid Foundation, Desert Rose. Uh, some more brands here, but not name brand. And then, oh, they had Wet n Wild Lashes only in... Only in one style. But there was a lot of them. more new makeup stuff liquid eyeshadow in bronze pink purple and gray from la colors that's fun they had these cute press on nail for little kids so there was disney princesses frozen trolls cupcake things and like unicorns or llamas Hmm, 60 pieces in that package for a buck. That's cool. I feel like mix and match. And then what's this? Wet n Wild Mega Last Nail Polish and like a nude. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, really wanted to try this gadget. It is designed to put your nail polish in when you're using it. Like on your own hand. It comes in purple and pink. I was very tempted to try this product. Has anybody seen this before or tried it and know if it works? Right? Because I'm a klutz. Nail polish holder. Mm. <gasps> oh! Star Trek branded socks. Oh my goodness. Jean-Luc Picard from Star Trek The Next Generation. And this is the real deal, folks. This is from StarTrek.com. I don't even want to think how much these were originally. I'd say probably upwards of $10 a pair, if not more. Oh, they had Captain Kirk. Star Trek. Anything else back there? <gasps> Spock. I spy Spock. Hi, Spock. Star Trek on the heel. 2020, it says. So these are brand new. <gasps> For those that want a more subtle sci-fi girl moment. Just the next generation away badge, please. Or communicator badge. I cannot get over that they had these at Dollar Tree. Ooh, retractable pen with carabiner. That's cool. It's a gel pen in black. Like, that would be nice just to put on, like, a clipboard so people just have a pen there. Um, or on your overalls if you work in construction. Or on your purse. Or you know what? On your project bag, folks. So you can mark on your patterns where you are. Or if you just want to write some to-do lists, like me, because you love lists. Oh, and blue. I like that it comes in a bunch of colors. They got some nice new notebooks. All you need is love and coffee. The front and back cover were pretty substantial. 60 pages. Thanks, Jot. Smile, shine bright, and be kind. Star power! Star power! 
think there was a couple more. Oh, polka dots. Dream big. Live inspired. Okay, these were pretty cool. Let me think. 60 pages, but then when you open it up, each one has like a border on it. I really like these light bulbs. It was like super IBW notebook. And then they had these awesome highlighter colored notebooks. 100 sheets. And they had all the highlighter colors. They had orange, yellow, pink, and blue. And they looked cool together. Very 80s. Top secret message pen. It's invisible ink that's revealed in UV light. How fun is that? Keep the kids busy for a while. 50 index cards with a cover, an elastic to keep it closed on a um, ring that you can open. That's interesting. I've never seen those before. Hmm. 